Today we are back on Anime Dungeon Fighters because they have just brought out a brand new quality of life update with two new fruits that we need to go ahead and obtain and showcase. So if you guys do enjoy these fruit showcase videos and want to see more, make sure you guys drop a like. Also feel free to subscribe and without further ado, let's get into checking out the brand new fruits. Okay, and good morning, guys. Today, we are back on Anime Dungeon Fighters for the brand new update, which has just come out a couple of hours ago. So we are jumping straight on to check it out today. Now, I'm going to pop the update log up on screen for you guys right now. And let's just go ahead and go through it and see what they have added to the game. So today's update, they have added the acquisition of weapons in the second world, which has been changed just to be the same as the first world. So you can go ahead and spend gold and go ahead and buy some weapons. There are some new fruits, there is a new season pass, there is mobile UI optimization, we don't bother with that. Skills on PC support custom key settings now, that's pretty cool. PlayStation 5 optimization, we don't care about that. And there is a brand new code, so um, let's go ahead and find out what the brand new code is. Alright, so the brand new code is code new fruit, and that gives you 600 gems over there, which is super, super nice. Now, we are going to go ahead and check out the brand new fruits a little later in today's video. But first, I want to go ahead and get grinding. And first, I want to go ahead and check out the brand new season pass. So here is the season three season pass, which does actually have an inspire fruit in. It has a bunch of gems. Is there anything worth worthwhile you get the inspire fruit for free at level 15 and the spike fruit over there so there is some two new fruits i don't actually know how many new fruits they've added let me quickly go over to the summon and see if there's any new ones over there okay well i can't actually find any information on the new fruits but here are the fruits in the banner so there isn't actually any new ones so we're not going to go ahead and roll off yet but one cool thing they have done they've changed the look of all the items over here over in hell mode graveyard and they've made it so we can now get necklaces over in hell mode. So this is super, super nice. We can go ahead and get the best necklace, which we do need to go ahead and get. And if we come ahead and look at our loot, we need to go ahead and get our Frostfright Knuckles. We need to go ahead and get them two stars. So before we go ahead and do anything with the fruits, let's go ahead and AFK a bunch and hopefully get the bunch of these Knuckles and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get this brand new necklace because we really need it. Well, it's not brand new, but it's pretty rare still. All right, and good morning, guys. So our loot has not gotten any better. I mean, we managed to get one of these partner necklaces and that's about it. We didn't actually manage to get a proper a mysterious partner necklace. That's what I'm grinding for. That's the only thing we need. And we didn't manage to get any more of these knuckles. So we have saved up 9.9, .9, just under 10 billion coins. And uh, we're just going to come over, pop some luck boosts and try get the mysterious gloves out of here. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves both of these look potions and uh, get to auto hatch. And hopefully this will allow us to get the rest of the mysterious gloves we need. So there we go. Both look potions have been bought. We've got half an hour on both. Everything else is off apart from these frost fire knuckles. So let's just auto hatch and cue a really, really quick time lapse of us opening 9 billion with... All right, and there we go, guys. I think we have enough here. In fact, we went over the amount we needed. So let's go ahead and upgrade these. And let's go ahead and get our two-star Frosted Knuckles. Does it stay level 100? And it does. So now we've got the maxed out Knuckles. The only thing that we need now is the Mysterious Partner Necklace, which we will get over time. All right, and let's come over to the banner. Is there one of the new fruits? There currently isn't any of the new fruits over in the banner. So I think the only way we might be able to get these is out of the season pass. Now to get both fruits, we get one at level one, but we also need to get to rank 15, which is a decent amount of Robux. So before we go ahead and do this, we're gonna go ahead and buy the premium pass. And first, we're going to go ahead and showcase the brand new Inspire Fruit. Now, this is a little bit heartbreaking because it will mean I'll have to get rid of the Dark Lord Fruit. 
but we're doing it for the video nevertheless guys so here's the inspire fruit the skills are safeguard brave and agility at level 20 so well that hurts a lot so here we go we are just running about with a flag and let's go ahead and get it leveled up and let's do a quick little showcase of the brand new fruit all right, well, we maxed this out pretty quickly, so time to do a showcase. So, we've got the Z ability, which is Safeguard over here. So, that, I think... Oh, okay, so it just gives you a little buff over there, which is pretty nice. Our X ability is Brave, where I think this gives us, like, a... Yeah, a plus, like, 5 million attack, which is insane. And C is an agility one, which I'm guessing is, well, just speed plus 8. So, I'm not gonna lie a bit of a useless fruit. Well, it's not useless if you're in a team, and if they bring out some, like, mega dungeons in the game, this would be insane having someone buff your whole team with these buffs. But the cooldowns are stupid. They, this is, like, an 80-second cooldown on your speed buff, and, yeah, the cooldowns are a bit ridiculous. So, all in all, uh, probably not the best fruit. You guys probably do not want this. So, let's go ahead and unlock the brand new spike fruit over here. Unfortunately, we've got to unlock 15 levels of this pass. So, uh, like the video, guys, because I'm just about to spend some more Robux on this game. I'm literally giving these guys so, so many Robux. It's great. All right. So, let's go ahead and unlock our very final tier over here. And there we go. Right. So, let's go ahead and claim everything. So, we got another Inspire fruit, which, I mean, we'll just keep in our inventory. And we got one of these spike fruits. We also got a bunch of cosmetic coins, which is also super, super nice. There's also another spike fruit, which is free to get at level 30. But yeah, I ain't, I ain't doing all of that. So let's come back over to the fruit bag and let's go ahead and equip the spike fruit, which has skills spike burst, spike roll, and spike feast. So let's go ahead and stick this on. And ooh, S, 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 S. -S. Okay, this looks really, really awesome. Let's go ahead and get this leveled up and do the fruit showcase. So we have got all the moves. Let's go ahead and do the fruit showcase. So we have spike burst to start off with where you shoot a spike. Oh, that's got a good area of effect. I'm not going to lie. Now, this next move is probably my favorite move. It's really, really cool. This next move is spike roll. So let's wait for these to spawn. And basically, you go into a ball and you can just run over people. It's really, really awesome. And our last but certainly not least is our C ability, which is spike feast, where you set a ground bit and do that i mean it's not the best ability but it's pretty decent but honestly that z ability is pretty good with only a 13 second cooldown it's pretty nice and the spike ball is just it's just really fun to use i mean look who doesn't want to run around as a ball and you can hit enemies multiple times of it and the fists look pretty cool anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and sweet talk the developers and try get my dark lord fruit back because none of these fruits are better than the dark lord fruit obviously it's uh you know what i mean the dark lord fruit should be the best one but yeah, so um, not the best fruits in the game. But the spike fruit will be pretty good if you guys can't go ahead and get the love fruit. Or if you guys can't go ahead and get the dark lord fruit. The spike fruit, I would definitely recommend. This was super fun to use. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's Anime Dungeon Fighters video. I mean, the update's pretty good, to be fair. Quality of life stuff is really, really nice. If you guys didn't know, once your mail gets full, there is a claim all button. And that's really, really nice to have. Otherwise, you were having to claim them one by one. But anyway, guys, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like. Just a quick fruit showcase for you guys today. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Peace out.